So today we're actually in Whitby and what a beautiful place it is. So we're in November, is it November the 16th today? 15th, 16th, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, we're on a winter break and we've come to see what Whitby's like in the winter. And surprisingly, there's loads and loads of people about. So we came last night, we actually stayed in the hotel last night. We actually stayed at the Weatherspoons Angel Inn Hotel. Uh, so I've done a video on that as well. So if you want to check that out, uh, actually showing you our stay there. But what I thought today I will show you around everywhere so I've never been to Whitby before so it's a new adventure for me so if you've never been to Whitby before uh, come on my adventure and uh, we're going to go up with these 199 steps I've already come up a few of them and, uh, I'm puffing and panting already so we're going up to the top of the abbey and then we're going to work our way back down around the harbour and around all the shops right over to the other side and then we're also going to finish up with some fish and chips so Whitby is famous for its fish and chips so yeah we're going to try one of the fish and chip shops and see what they're like as well so if you haven't already and you'd like to see what I'm actually doing please hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell for all my new videos and don't forget to give me that thumbs up so let's go on that adventure Right, so these are the famous uh, 199 steps up to the, the abbey and I'm taking it steady. I've got bad knee and I've got arthritis. <laughs> so yeah, up here you can see the whole of Whitby. So have you been up these steps before? Put it in the comments and uh, see how quick you go and how you actually do go up it. Do you go up two steps at a time or three steps at a time or one step at a time? And I'm out of breath already. We're not even halfway there yet. So yeah, follow me up here. Let's have a look at this abbey up here. Right, so we're in Whitby and we're on the top of the 199 steps and I've met this guy and your name is? Patrick. Patrick. And it's actually his birthday today and believe it or not, he's actually, are you really 65? Yeah. I can't yeah. believe this guy's 65. I look older than him, don't I? <laughs> yeah, and he's not even puffing and panting when he's come up with these steps like me. So yeah, we're in Whitby, and look at the view behind me, and he's having a lovely time here. So have you stayed here to this tonight? No, yeah, no, we've just, just come for the day. Down, just come down from Saltburn. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So he's from Saltburn, which is only is it about half an hour's drive. Half an hour's drive. Yeah. So yeah, what a place to come to as well. And I mm -hmm. said I will go to Saltburn yeah. and have a good look around there and do a video there as well. So yeah, it's pleased to meet you. And to meet. it's yeah, and he, this guy's got loads of knowledge as well i've actually told him to start his own youtube channel up because <laughs> he knows everything so i wish i had your knowledge so i think i might take him with me everywhere i go that'd be a good idea wouldn't it and you'd love you'd love to come abroad with me as well wouldn't you oh indeed yeah indeed. Indeed. yeah, indeed. yeah. <laughs> so pleased to meet you and get up here. Yeah. 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 are you going to get that oh she's still waiting for me yeah, yeah. so that's she's she, telling to stop gas she's actually too. my uh, my camera lady she is <laughs> yeah yeah so she's having a rest at the moment. She's having a tea break. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, how lovely everybody is. So yeah, great to be in Whitby in November as well. So yeah, yeah we, we can't get no better weather than this, no, can we? This yeah. is a good day for November, yeah. isn't it? So enjoy the rest of your stay and enjoy the rest of your birthday and uh, have a few beers tonight then, yeah? I will indeed. Yeah, no nice to meet you. Yeah. See lovely you soon. See you. Take care. Wow, so what lovely people I've just met there. So can you believe that guy is 65 today? That's like I say, I look older than him, don't I? Eh? But uh, yeah, he's only from Saltburn and he's just said to me if ever when I go to Saltburn, uh, he will actually show me around there. So yes, I will be coming back. We'll come back to Whitby and I will definitely go to Saltburn to do some filming. So we're at the side of the church and just check out the view we've got up here. So uh, the church is just at the side of us and these gravestones, how old they are. You can't hardly read anything on these gravestones because they're that old. But uh, yeah, so Whitby's famous for Count Dracula and uh, Captain Scott as well and uh, Bram Stoker. So right then, so we're at the top of the 199 steps. 
And I'm not out of breath, so I must be getting a little bit fitter. Yeah, so we're at the Abbey, so we're going to have a look back around this, the front bit of the Abbey. We're not going to pay to go in, but I'm going to put my camera over the top of the wall just to see you in. And then I'm going to go walk across a little bit and show you all the headland and all the sea as well. So yeah, let's go for a wander and have a look around here. So it tells you all what time the place opens. Uh, I don't think there's any price lists on there, but yeah, they've got the opening times of the Abbey and everything there. And what a beautiful name, an Abbey. Love that name. Yeah, everywhere you go in Whitby, it's called Abbey. It's either called Abbey Wharf, Abbey Hotel. So, yeah. So, I'm not actually an historian, so I just like visiting these sort of places. So, I can't tell you loads of history about it, but I can show you. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah, so this is really lovely, lovely up here. So in front of us, we've got the gentleman's mansion, the cobbled courtyard. We don't know how to say that, but it could be the bogus, 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 bogus gladiator. If you know how, what it says, uh, write in the comments. Yeah, let's see if we can work it out. And the crossbar windows. Yeah, so let's have a check at these uh, around here and see what is what's happening. No, I'll see if we can actually go into the little little uh, house. Well, little the big mansion. It looks like there's a shop and a bit of a museum in there. Not sure how much it is yet. Uh, to actually get into the abbey, we'll take a look, and I can let you know. I've seen this on telly a few times. Uh, people asking uh, what the statue actually is, and I think it is a copy of another statue from somewhere else. So I'm sure I've seen it somewhere. Uh, where they have actually have copied the design. Yeah, so the mansion's got a museum and a shop and a calf. And there's also uh, the YHA Whitby here as well. So this is the way to get into the abbey. The same way as the shop. A lot of people don't like you filming in places like this, but uh, we'll just we'll just see. Yeah, so we're not sure how much it is to get into the Abbey. There was a lot of people uh, paying to get in. So if you look online, or I'll have a look later online and it'll show you how much it is. And, uh, or I can tell you to hopefully you can actually see with my camera while I'm pointing over the wall. So it's good having a gimbal in it where you can actually uh, do this. So there you go, the famous Abbey. So in the summer, it's going to be absolutely chocker on these steps, apparently. So yeah, chatting to other people and uh, they said, you come back in the summer and you, you want to see how busy it is. Uh, the goth weekend a few weeks ago as well. There was thousands of people going up to the Abbey. So yeah, you couldn't move on these steps. So it's a, yeah, a busy place in the summer and it's really good to visit for the winter as well. So if you like it a bit more quieter and you don't mind the cold weather, which isn't too bad at the moment, uh, it's great to visit Whitby and uh, actually see the sights. So I just hope I don't trip down one of these steps while I'm actually talking to you. That would be funny, wouldn't it? You've been framed, 250 pound, eh? <laughs> right, so as you come down the 199 steps, you actually come into the old town of Whitby, where a lot of the old shops are. So you've got jewelers, you've got pubs and bars and stuff down here as well. And you've got the famous Dracula Beach as well, which is behind one of the hotels. Uh, where Brent Stoker actually first appeared uh, at Whitby on the beach. So a nice cobbly road down here. So yeah, you've got uh, 
showing you a bit of the Captain Cook uh, ship there. Look, man. The whalebone's in the window. So yeah, I've seen a few videos where people are in summer and when the golf fest was on in, it was absolutely chocker down here. You could hardly move. So uh, imagine how uh, popular the place is. But uh, up to now, it's definitely a worth a visit. So if you've never been to Whitby before, I'd put it on your bucket list to actually come and visit because uh, I am glad I've actually come. So and what we've seen up to now and the state and plus all the people are so good as well, so kind and polite. And uh, yeah, it's, that's what you want in it when you come away. Yes, there's plenty of places to eat down here, cocktail bars as well. It's like a little market square down here, so we'll have a quick wander around and have a look through what it's down here as well. In fact, I think this actually might take us to the bridge, so we'll, uh, we'll take a wander towards the bridge and go across the, uh, the harbour to the other side of Whitby. There's Abbey Wharf there, food and drink, and a little, little a market down there as well. loads and loads of gift shops. There's some really, really nice shops. And with the Christmas decorations all coming out as well, they're making them look really pretty. So we're coming to the bridge. So it's actually a, a bridge that actually turns to let the big ships out as well. So uh, we've got the, is it the Dolphin on the corner? I think that's a little hotel as well, and plus a, a, a bar and a restaurant. So yeah, this goes across the arbor. We've got the lifeboat station down there as well. It looks like the tide is out at the moment. When we was here last night, the tide was actually in, so it was quite deep yesterday. Yeah, and then we just got the other side of the harbour there, look, where all the uh, boats are moored there. So yeah, this is a little swing bridge for the big boats to come across. So they shut the gates for you to go, uh, for the boats to actually go on. Right, so we're at the uh, other side of the harbour. So one side they called the old the old town, and then this side it's still oldie worldie, but uh, it's got loads more shops this side as well. So I've uh, not been up here yet, so we're going to have a look what's up here. Quite a few hills as well to contend. So, but you'll be all right. They're not too too long. The hills aren't. But what we're going to do, we're going to walk through the shops around here, work our way to the, where the harbour wall pier is, the lighthouse, and also the beach. So there is lots of shops for the ladies as well. So if you like coming to sh go shopping, there's a lot of ladies' shops. So yeah, you've got the uh, ladies' shoe shop there. And there's quite a few charity shops as well, so yeah, if you like looking around all the charity shops. Yeah, so there is little shops everywhere, and little bars as well, little restaurants as well. So we've actually uh, come through all the little uh, back street houses, and they're like little cottages. So I'll just show you, right down this road is actually loads of places where you can uh, rent uh, like little cottages so i'll just show you the little sign on one of them so they've all got that, like these little signs on here look so if you go on this uh, website you'll actually be able to uh, look up all these places and uh, yeah you can hire or rent your own little cottage in whitby so we've actually come uh, like the back way through the town uh, up to where the Captain Cook 
uh, memorial or monument. monument is actually there, and the whale bones as well. But as you can see straight in front of me, if you're coming from the harbour wallway, uh, you can actually go up the steps. So we've just come up the slopey bit, up the hill, but I say if you want to come up the steps you can do as well. So I'll just view over to the abbey as well, so you're getting great views of the, ha the abbey from here as well, and the church up on top of the uh, hill there. So we've got some lovely people here having their photos taken in with me under the whale bone there. Yeah, so we're at the Captain Cook uh, statue. So what do you think to it all up to now, Whitby? Yeah, you've been to Whitby before? No, no say it's first time for us as well. It's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, we're definitely going to come back as well. So you can see in front of us, we've got the famous Captain Cook. So yeah, Whitby's famous for Captain Cook. And he's been stood there for a few years, hasn't he? Eh? Old Captain yeah, Cook has. Now. He's not weathered at all, has he? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we've met some more beautiful people. So yeah, they've come all the way from Milton Keynes, believe it or not, staying a few days. And uh, they said their hotel is absolutely beautiful as well. And they've actually recommended some good places to go and eat for breakfast as well. So, yeah, really nice people. And hopefully they will be uh, subscribing to the channel and giving you those thumbs ups as well. So if you're actually coming from the harbour, this is the way up to the Captain Cook's monument so straight up the stairs there so we actually came uh the way we came was like up the hill from the town so if you was it's a bit more easier access if you're not sure on the steps so i've got another famous uh, fish and chip shop as well so yeah we'd be famous for the fish and chips fish and chip shops and restaurants so we got the fisherman's wife there So this is the famous lighthouse and look how weathered that lighthouse is so uh, it'd be brilliant to be here when it's a really rough day and seeing the lighthouse actually uh, with all the waves splashing against it because i bet it happens quite a few times as well so let's have a look at the beach while we're up here so the tide's gone out there so this is the whole of whitby and what a beautiful day it is as well we've definitely picked the right day to come to whitby and it's not raining it would be lovely all year round just to come and sit on these seats and look out to sea of all of Whitby so yes beautiful place I'm really impressed you can see the abbey over there as well and the church on the top of the hill so yeah we went up them steps 199 steps which are not too bad at all uh, better than I thought there was going to be into my life such a magic feeling we tore down my walls i wish i could go back to right before you told me i'd try to change it all but look at us now i could have gone so far it hurts 
hurts to realize we're parted. Yeah, look at us now. This is who we are. And I just know things will never be the same. We're like strangers again, again, again. Strangers again, again, again. We're like strangers again, again, again. I just know things will never be the same. We're like strangers again. Tried much harder, now all we have are scars. You said we'd get so high, higher up than heaven. You said we'd reach the stars. Look at us now, could have gone so far. It hurts to realize we're parted. And yeah, look at us now, this is who we are. And I just know. Strangers again, again, again. Like strangers again, again, again. Right, so we're at the end of the uh, Arbor Wall, or the pier as they can call it, and we're going to actually go across the little bridge. So uh, we actually came down here last night when it was dark and they actually closed the bridge off and then and must open it later on in the morning. So we're going to walk down there and I think that is actually called the pier down there. So yeah, let's go and have a wander and let's go and uh, see what's down here. Now that we parted, I better get started. It's time to get my head. I'm actually going to uh, keep holding my radio mic because uh, if we just point the camera down and see how we're... Uh, big the gaps are I'll say I don't want to lose my uh, microphone down there do you know I bet there's a few people lost some watches and some money down there in the past I mean I suppose you could get it back now but uh, you wouldn't get it back when the tide was actually in would you yeah you can. <laughs> and you wouldn't definitely want to come down here in your high heel shoes either would you eh but like I say this was actually closed last night but uh, opens early in well mid morning I think this opens let's all the fishermen on yeah, it gets you right out to see the great views from here. And I say if you look round as well, you can actually see all of Whitby and uh, all the hotels on the cliffs as well. And the lighthouses. So, uh, yeah, beautiful the, uh, the views are from here. And thank God it's not raining because I wouldn't have got some good footage like this if it had been raining. So, uh, We've been very lucky today. And I've got myself a coffee as well. I've been talking to that many people today. Some great people I've been talking to. My throat's gone dry. I've had to get a coffee. So it's really good. So everybody here we're talking to. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And everybody loves it here. I've got no complaints about anything. So yeah, great stuff. Right, so we showed you all the harbour and I've had some drone footage up as well so I've got some good drone footage. Uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to grab some fish and chips and uh, finish off walking towards uh, where the uh, swing bridge is and a few, the few of the little hotels and shops around there. So yeah, we're going to try some fish and chips. So people tell me to go to all different fish and chip shops and restaurants. Uh, so the fishermen's over there, fishermen's wife people have told me about that. I think there was one called, was it the Trawlers, I think? Not too sure. Uh, but there's the Magpie as well. But yeah, all, all different kinds. There's hundreds and hundreds apparently of fish and chip shops in uh, Whitby. 
So yeah, we're going to. What we're going to do though? We're going to have them take away. Right, as you know, Whitby is famous for their fish and chips shop. So we've actually been asking loads of people, even a few of the locals as well, which is the best place to get your fish and chips. You know, it could be a fish and chip restaurant or a takeaway. And the locals are actually saying it's right next door to where the hotel is, where we actually stayed. So the Weatherspoons pub and the hotel, the Angel Hotel, apparently that is the best place to go for your fish and chips. It's a takeaway, it's not a restaurant we don't think. It's a blue building on the outside as you walk past Weatherspoons. It's just set back a little bit where there's a little car park. And uh, yeah, apparently cheap as well. And they're absolutely beautiful. So all the locals are saying that it's really good there. So they recommend it. We're going to try it. Right, so I needed the toilet, right? And uh, the cordless is not actually working, but somebody outside the toilet knows a trick. So there's actually a sensor on the toilet as you come out to let you out. And he says, do you want me to let you in? He got his umbrella out and actually put that sensor, put his umbrella at that sensor and let me in. So yeah, I did have to pay 50, 40p for that, but I uh, should have had the, uh, the card reader working, shouldn't they? Yeah, so thank you for that, gentlemen, if you're watching. They said down the harbour side, we've got uh, stuff to do for the kids as well. I don't think there is actually an amusement park, but we've got uh, Funland there open as well. So these amusement arcades must be open all year round as well. Uh, last night as well, uh, later on, it was about seven o'clock, there was actually still open as well. But uh, yeah, so if there's, you can't say there's nothing to do for any of the kids, you've got the beaches and you've also got the amusement arcades. So this is the famous uh, the Magpie Calf. So a lot of people do say this is the best fish and chip shop restaurant. But we've been told different by the locals, so we've been told to go to a different one. So one day I'll go in there and do a review on it, but I know a lot of people have done reviews on the Magpie. But so like I say, we've been told different. So we're gonna try this other one. Apparently it's a little gem. So we're gonna see what they're like. Since you can't come to Whitby without having your fish and chips. And I knew I do know a lot of people as well. There's one special person out there who I actually work with called Pete, and he actually comes to Whitby for a whole week and he has fish and chips every single day from different fish and chip shops. And I think he's even said about this one as well. But I did say to him, which is your favourite? And he said they're all my favourites. So yeah, he says he's tried every fish and chip shop going. So, <laughs> he'll be coming again soon, won't you, Pete? Now we're talking about fish and chips. It looks a very nice uh, pub in there, so the ship. So we've got uh, the Dracula experience here. It's not open at the moment. I think they're probably open at the weekends. So if you've ever been in the Dracula experience, uh, write in the comments below and tell me what it's actually like. Do you go and see Count Dracula in there or oh, what? Wow. But... Uh, it doesn't say how much it is in there at the moment but uh, yeah if you've uh, experienced it let me know I've got the rock shops all open as well A nice little cocktail bar there Of course you've got the souvenir shops as well but yeah it's lovely down here you know say it's november and it's it's quite good that everything's actually open so just behind the van there you've got the book in looks like that's a, a bit of a uh, hotel as well i think upstairs i'm sure if it's flats it's the swing bridge straight in front of us there i'd like to see that uh, open but uh, i don't know uh, when it actually opens how many times of uh, the week it does open we've got angel fisheries there as well so have you been to angel fisheries is that your favorite fish and chip shop so as well everywhere you go as a papa's fish and chip restaurant so papa's fish and chip restaurant and uh, are these guys originally from Retford, I think, aren't they? Yeah, so these guys are originally from Retford who had one little fish and chip shop and now they've got a chain of them everywhere. So yeah, 
if you like Pappas, is that your favourite fish and chip restaurant? Stop. Put that in your uh, put it in the comments as well. Let me know. Also, if you're interested in going for a trip out on a boat, this is where you catch the boats. Some um, they're not. I don't think they're working today, so they'll probably be. Uh, might do it at the weekends when the weather's all right. As you can see, the arbor there. But yeah, it's a Thursday and there's loads of people about. Right, so we've actually been told this is the best little fish and chip shop in Whitby. So even the locals say this is. So I hope they're open. So Angel Fisher is Whitby. So it looks like they are. So what we're we going to do, we're going to actually have a takeaway and bring them outside and eat them on these arbor front. So you've actually got Weatherspoons here and then you've got the entrance to the Weatherspoons Hotel which is the Angel Inn Hotel which where this is where we actually stayed. So yeah this apparently is the best place to get your fish and chips from. I'm not sure if you can sit in but we'll have a look but I think we're going to sit outside the arbor. So yeah I've been here centuries apparently as well so everybody recommends this place. So let's just have a look at the price list shall we. So yeah, you get uh, cod and chips, 9.95. So it's about the same price as what everywhere else is. Right, so we're in the uh, Angel Fish and Chip Bar, yeah. or is it, what, how would you say it? Restaurant, bar? Fish and chip shop, cafe, yeah. Yeah. name it. Yeah, so this is next to the Weatherspoons. Uh, you know, how many years has it been here? Six, maybe six, seven years. Six, yeah. seven years. Yeah. And it doesn't get noticed much. Uh, I've noticed other people go to all the famous ones that's actually in Whitby. But these are apparently the best. So I've come in here today to check them out, see if they are the best. So are they going to be the best? I hope so. Yeah. yeah. 10 out of 10. Great stuff. So yeah. you all love working here, yeah? Are you yeah. the gaffer? Yes. Yes. Yeah. No, 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 not the just gaffer. The, just, just the cook, not the <laughs> Yeah, so we're going to get in the fish and chips and we're going to see what they taste like. And we're, going to, we're not going to mark it, we're just going to give it a taste and see what they're like. But I bet they're going to be beautiful anyway, aren't they? Yeah? They should be nice. Thank you. Brilliant. <laughs> so there we go, the fish and chips. So yeah, like they look superb. Uh, yeah, go on yeah. then. We and go. we'll put the mushy All peas right. on the top as well. So yeah, the mushy peas look absolutely stunning as well. They're not like fluorescent like some of the fish and chip shops you actually go to. No, no, homemade mushy peas. Homemade not, mushy not peas. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. brilliant you do that. So yeah, homemade mushy peas everyone. So there's not many places do that. So there's the fish and chips. We're gonna go and set out on the arbor wall and eat them and uh, taste them. We're not gonna mark them though, because they you look out, good. Give they, us they, wave. Yeah, so well. thank you. Well. Oh, take that with you. oh, thank you so Review. much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much. Great meeting you. And I'll call back and see you another day. See you in the summer. Yeah, see you in the summer. Enjoy. Thank you. Have a good Christmas and happy new year. Yeah. Right. So we've got the fish and chips and they look absolutely splendid. So nice, fresh fish, homemade mushy peas. So I'm going to try these mushy peas first. Oh yeah, definitely not out of a tin. And then we've got the chips as well. So uh, let's try the chips. They're beautiful as well. Lovely and fluffy as well. Red hot though. Yeah, it's really good. And let's do the fish test as well. Look at the fish. So yeah, fresh fish. I wonder if it was caught this morning. Oh, crispy batter as well. That batter is beautiful and the fish is so tasty as well. So that definitely does taste like fresh fish. So yeah, so if you want some decent fish and chips in Whitby and you don't want to pay over the odds and stuff and you, these guys, if they're just hidden back a little bit, pay them a visit right next door to Weatherspoons. So it's the Angel Fish and Chip Shop. You can actually go in there and actually sit down as well. Or you can actually take away like we have. So a lovely day today. I'm sat at the side of the arbor and I'm eating my fish and chips. So thank you so much to the Angel Fish and Chip Shop.
Yeah, I'm really enjoying these fish and chips. Got the tortoise sauce as well. Look, I've nearly demolished the whole lot. I was a little bit hungry. I didn't have my full English breakfast this morning. We had some toast earlier on when we stayed across the road there. So uh, yeah, really enjoying these. So we've had a lovely time in Whitby today. Uh, we've stayed overnight, so like I say earlier, we stayed at uh, the Weatherspoons Hotel and uh, such an amazing place to stay. As you can see, it's November. It keeps drizzling with rain a little bit, but we've had a glorious day. Check out that arbor, eh? So in the summer, this will be absolutely rammed with people. So it's brilliant to actually come this time of year and to get about a bit faster as well so you can see everything but it will be also good to come in the summer to get down on that beach as well so i hope you've all enjoyed what i've done uh, today of the video uh, showing you all the different places in the winter so we're in november and uh, yeah you don't stay at home you know get yourselves out get yourselves wrapped up and get yourselves out to uh, places like whitby and check it all out because everywhere's open all the shops open there's all there's just there is a few things closed at the moment but apart from that everything else is open so yeah you can even bring the kids as well but yeah everybody we spoke to love the place they love visiting here there's a few people we've spoken to as well we see on the video they're actually their first time they've been here and they're they're loving it so i'm gonna have to say goodbye now because we're gonna go on our next adventure but before we go if you haven't done already i need you to please subscribe to my channel it's absolutely free you don't have to pay a penny all you need is a uh, email address that's it so it's not a subscription where you have to pay monthly or anyth anything like that a lot of people do think it is but it's not all you do is press that subscribe button and you've subscribed to my channel and also there's a notification bell as well so you click on that notification bell and that will tell you when all my new uploads of my new videos are coming up so i do videos from all over the place all over england hotel reviews i even go abroad as well and I even go around the theme parks sometimes you know so you leave me screaming on the theme parks so I'm glad I've actually brought you all with me, showing you all of Whitby, and uh, I'm going to do it again sometime when the summer's out here. So I'm going to say goodbye, and uh, we'll see you all soon, and we'll see you in the next movie. So see you later.